level. And so another indicator is uh, the re relationship duration. That is the length between the first purchase and the day of today. And that is, you take the time between the first purchase, the where the customer bought the first time, and the time today. You want to know how much time the customer has stay, has been staying in the database. To measure that, there are two different contexts. The easy context is the always the share context, which is the uh, context of a grocery retail. And in this context, you don't really know when the customer comes into the database, unless you have a loyalty program. But even if the customer takes the loyalty path, you don't really know if the customer has bought before. And this is probably the case. And because you start buying in a supermarket and uh, you probably take the loyalty card only after a couple of, of purchases. And this is what you can see here, the always a share, different buyers, huh? and we don't know when they bought the first time. So the easy way is to consider the first purchase is the day when the customer takes the loyalty card in the loyalty program. In electronic commerce, it's easy, huh? because there, the day when the customer trades the account and buys the first time, this is considered as the first purchase. After the first purchase, you look at the different time frames and you can measure uh, whenever the customer rebuys you know that the customer is still active but you have some customers so this is the case of this customer he bought regularly and today you don't know if he still continue to buy tomorrow you have the customer four he bought in the beginning but it's a while he did not buy uh, so you don't know what happened with this customer either he defective either he is still only inactive, uh, so he's not buying because uh, he buys perhaps in another supermarket. Either he has moved to another city, I don't know. Either he really died. Well, we never know. Uh, because... So it is difficult to understand what happens after this time. So there's a question mark. It means so the only way to know or to, the only way to operationalize loyalty indicators is to use probabilities. Uh, this means that you have to uh, based on past purchase, purchase behaviors, you try to predict future purchase, purchase behaviors. Through, for example, regression models. Uh, there's another model called survival analysis. It's also kind of regression, regression model. And it calculates based on past indicators, past purchase behaviors, the future. Uh, so, for, for example, this customer has probably a high score, uh, a score between 1 and 100,000 retention probability. This customer, has probably a ver very low probability of retention. So based on the past behavior, we predict future purchases. But you can be sure uh, this, these are only probabilities. Uh, so probabilities are not necessarily the reality. Yeah. So this means that uh, we base our decision making on probabilities as we do a lot in management because we are uh, confronted to a lot of uncertainty scenarios uh, in all contexts. We do we use statistics to predict the retention probability. The other context is the loss for goods context, con uh, contractual relationship uh, based on contracts or subscriptions, such as Netflix or a mobile phone or internet offer, where we subscribe into an a service for a given time. If we take the example of a mobile phone, we engage or we subscribe, for example, the first January for two years. So let's say the customer takes a contract for Two years, uh, so we know when he subscribed it. Uh, so su subscribe by a one, and we know exactly when he probably charts. Uh, that is the defense. So we know we can easily calculate the probable relationship duration for, for this customer, as we know the first date of purchase, and as we know the probably last date of the purchase. They so have different customers, as you can see here, who have taken different subscription dates and uh, that this one comes in here and he goes out here uh, this one comes in here and goes out here so we know exactly the first date of purchase and we know exactly the last date of purchase whereas here we know only the first date of purchase or which is considered the date where the customer takes the loyalty program in the real world or which is really the first purchase when the customer creates an account on an e-commerce but we don't know what happens after the day we consider his situation. It's called always a share. Why always a share? Because customers have said this customer might reappear. Uh, take the example of your French students here. Next year, you will go abroad to a partner university. So you won't buy for a while. Right? So you would be this type of customer. 
And after one year, you might come back, lose, and uh, reappear and repurchase in the store uh, because you finished your abroad appearance. Appear, appear. This is typical situation. So you have always a share. You're not going away definitively uh, if you go, uh, if you leave next. You never know. This is the case of growth retail. You don't know if the customer comes back or not. That is why it's called always a share because you might come back, reappear, and give more. Where is here? It's lost for good. It's a contract. But generally, customers switch away to, to another provider because it is more advantageous uh, to change to a pro other provider to get, to get a free mobile phone. Well, because the, actually the acquisition methods are very aggressive uh, from mobile phone providers and they uh, offer free tablets or free uh, mobile phones. And that is why it's more attractive to not to be loyal than to stay loyal. Just one last point. This period here is called byte sender data uh, because sender means that we don't know. Uh, and there are some statistical models are based on left uh, right sensor or sensor data, which takes into account uncertainties are probability models that model this lifetime. And it is important to have this in mind uh, so because of this relationship duration is taken into account to calculate customer lifetime. And now I would like that you understand there are different re relationship types, lost for good versus always a share. I would like that you understand the differences for always the share customers. These are markets without contracts and so such as grocery retail, most purchases we are doing. And the re relationship duration can be only measured with pr probabilities because we don't know after a given date if a customer is still active. Various lost for good customers are contractual market markets, subscription markets, where we can quite easily predict the relationship length because we know the first date of purchase and we know the last date of purchase.